Hello everyone and welcome back. I am back with another video. Your girl is on a roll this week and we are doing a home workout, specifically upper body. And everything's going to be including these bands right here besides the end when we get to the abs. But you can modify if you have dumbbells. Um, you can use jugs of water. You know, anything that you have available for you that causes you some resistance and you can do these movements so this is just the warm-up and me showing you guys it's so important to warm up i do this about two to three times and this is aside from stretching so you want to stretch your you know arms first then i'll do these to get the blood flowing Okay, going into our first exercise, I love to start off my upper body workouts even in the gym with either lateral raises or front raises. This is like a front raise motion using the band. The bands I'm using are by thexbands.com. Um, they were so nice to send them to me and I finally get to put them to use. And you see, I'm so tired. So this is just me showing you from a different angle, how I'm positioned. You wanna keep your core tight. You don't want to swing with your lower body. You want your shoulders to do most of the work. Now you're going to do this about 10 to 15 times. It really just depends on what weight you're using um, and your comfort level. So 10 to 15 for one set. Then you're going to repeat this exercise three to four more times. And then we'll head on, on to the next one. Second exercise, this one right here I love doing. It is more, it mimics like a rear delt fly motion. And do not underestimate these. These are very challenging. It doesn't take much weight. I don't know right now the weight of this band that I'm using, but it is the lightest band in the pack. I'll use another one with the next exercise, but these right here are really great. I add them regularly into my upper body routine even at the gym and yeah do these 10 to 15 times again depending on your comfort level now going into our third exercise for the day it is good old shoulder presses again i always do some motion of shoulder press during my upper body it's really so important you ladies to you know work out your upper body it really helps sculpt the body i say it all the time on my instagram and in the upper body videos and i'm happy that i'm finally having an upper body video for you guys here today so you're going to do these about 10 to 12 times you see i'm using a bigger a thicker band with more resistance so it's definitely a bit more challenging now you're going to superset this with bicep curls so i just I have the band under my foot, so I'm stepping on it, and then I just grip it and do a bicep curl motion just like I would in the gym, and it's just as effective. And so far, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a like right now. It will help you grow out so much. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. And for this superset, you will repeat it three to four times again. Usually it's always three to four times. Always shoot for four. Always shoot for four. But if you can only do three, then that is fine as well. Next exercise. Oh, you know how to put me a little back in here. Your girl loves back. We got to put some back in. So we just have um, like a back pull. And we're doing this with the lighter band. Again, I just have the band under both of my feet evenly and I'm just pulling back. You want to pull back with your elbows and squeeze and that's how you contract the back the most. Whenever you're doing back exercises, pull through the elbow and squeeze the back. This is a superset as well. So at first we did the front raises when we first started and I mentioned how I love lateral raises as well. This is another variation using the band, but we're doing one um, lateral raise at a time. 10 on one arm, then 10 on the other. Then you would just repeat the superset three to four times again. Okay, now that is the end of upper body workouts and now we're getting into more of the ab work. This first exercise is abs and a little bit of upper body as well. Um, these are like plank walks, plank walkouts. You would just walk out slowly as I am doing into a plank position, pause, and then push yourself back up. Repeat this about eight to 10 times. It is 
harder than it looks for sure but it's really great for honestly the full body the strength and when you're doing this keep your core tight immediately after you're going to get into these plank like in and out taps um these are really great they are challenging you're going to do about 10 of these counting in and out equals one then you'll repeat this three to four times back to back Now to finish off this amazing workout and specifically the abs, you're going to do this right here. Um, I think these are like knee drives, something. I don't know. Honestly, there's so many exercises I do and I don't know the correct names of or people. There's like five names for one exercise. You're going to do these um, about 15 to 20 times because, you know, we're not using no weight. So push your, you know, push yourself to the max. Then immediately after this, you're going to do the next motion. Um... I would say again 15 to 20 times counting each leg so do right left that's one and then repeat 15 to 20 times then you'll do this back to back three to four times these two sets and that will be all for today's workout i really hope you guys enjoyed this home upper body edition workout you guys have been asking and I'm here trying to deliver what you guys want to see. So again, if you like this video, please like it, comment below your thoughts and what you would like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.